Hi there. Hey, I do a lot of handyman work and that requires that I can accurately measure areas and volumes because I have to estimate the cost of materials. Well, we all know you can use a tape measure and that works pretty well, but sometimes it gets awkward. You want to measure an area in a crowded garage with cars and so forth. That's very difficult to do. I found a solution. Here it is. I got this on Amazon and it's not expensive. And it is a little device that will measure all of those things that I was talking about. And it does it with a laser. So it's dead on accurate and it will do it clear up as far as 328 feet accurately. I mean, that's bigger than a football field. I can point the laser and it will take that measurement for me. And it does all the calculations I need. I only need to put in the dimensions and it will calculate a volume or an area. And more than that, it will also triangulate using uh, a Pythagorean theorem, which allows me to get um, a hypotenuse. So I can actually measure heights of things that I can't climb a ladder uh, to get to. And that's, that is just absolutely wonderful, time saving. Well, here's the device right here. And first of all, you can see it's not terribly large. I mean, I can fit it in the palm of my hand. And it comes, if I wish to carry it this way, with a nice little carrying case that it's got a, a thing that fits, for, fits right here on your belt. So if you're a professional and you're out, you can just carry it and take it out anytime you want. Also, of course, has a little wrist strap and a really nice instruction manual. I sat and read through this. I thought it was gonna be daunting, but after using this for just about 10 minutes, I mastered all the functions and it's really crystal clear. And this comes with five different languages, by the way. Another thing I was impressed about was that this has a two year warranty. I mean, you can send it back within two years and get this thing fixed. That's unheard of for electronic devices. Well, let me show you some of the features that will actually take some measurements here. Well, first of all, I mean, it's battery operated, so it's got a little battery door. It has some AAA batteries. That's no big deal. And the laser is here, so you want to be careful. You really don't want to look right at a laser. And what you'll see are uh, these buttons here. And let me show you, let me put my glasses on show you what they are, or some of them anyway, and what they do. Okay, on, off, button, off button actually right here in the middle. And this is the read button, and you actually can use that to turn it on. Over here, you'll see this little button, and this allows you to choose between just taking a distance measurement or finding an area and that. And I'll just push the buttons and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, um, lastly on here, you'll notice this has a little level. So if you're gonna use, let's say the uh, Pythagorean function, uh, you wanna have a perfectly uh, perfect 90 degree angle at some point, that will allow you to get it that direction. And of course, this direction here. So this thing is gonna be really right on. Well, let me turn it on. I'll push that button and you get all that. Now, if you look right there, I'm doing this all backwards, so please forgive me. This right here tells you what function you're on. Now right there, you'll see a little straight line, and that just tells you that you can measure distance. Now I'm gonna hit this little button right here, and I'll watch what happens. The straight line becomes a, a rectangle, and it's telling me that it will measure the first one here, the second measurement there, and will calculate in square feet and give you the answer right there. It's telling me to uh, take one leg, which would be just be the length there. And if I click it again, now I get a, a cube. And I can then take three, length, width, and height, and it will calculate uh, the volume in cubic feet for me. That's fantastic. Uh, right here, I'm not gonna do all of them, but there's a triangle. Now look, it's showing the hypotenuse right there to take the hypotenuse so I can set this and angle it up at the corner of a room or a height of a tree or something 
and it will tell me the distances uh, the other two. Same like here if I did it this way. Now I can start that way or I can go this way. It will tell me any one of the missing. All I need is just two. All right, I'm going to try to demonstrate to you how this works. But let's just take the little area from right behind where the camera is over to this wall and then uh, over here to this wall. So if you can see me, I'm going to go over there and do this. All right, I'm going to turn it back on here like this. And I'm going to go here and choose right there. I'm going to choose area. So first of all, I will go over here and watch, see if you can see the laser dot here. You see that on the wall there? Click it. And that gave me the first measurement. Now I'll go over here, put it against the wall. And it gave me the second measurement. So it's telling me the area here is 116.884, to be real accurate, square feet. I think that is wonderful that it can do that. But for brevity's sake, I'm not going to take your time and do all the others, but they all work exactly the same way. And then it's got a place here if you want to save these functions, pull them up later, and then add or subtract to them, add them together. Uh, so many more functions. Just look at the manual. You'll have this down in 10 minutes. I'm telling you, this is a lifesaver for me. It comes highly recommended by me. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.